What's up everybody, welcome to Midiverse TV. Today we're gonna to be building a DIY synthesizer module from Synthrotech. This is the Atari Punk console, and we have the full DIY kit here, which is available for $59.95 at synthrotech.com. And this particular video isn't necessarily meant to be a how-to assembly video. All that sort of assembly instruction stuff is available at synthrotech.com. They've got really great documentation of all their modules there. It's a really good resource for synth DIY in general. Definitely recommend checking that out. But yeah, we're just going to be showing this video. Uh, we're just going to do a quick overview of our build, and then we're going to do a demo of it at the end. So let's just kind of go ahead and check out everything that's included here. Here's the front panel and the PCB. And the panel looks real nice here. It's a fiberglass panel. Looks like it's probably silk screened or something like that, as far as the graphics go. And here's the PCB. And we'll go ahead and bust out the rest of the parts here and go ahead and get started. So you see all our components laid out on the tape here. We've got our capacitors and resistors and diodes and all that sort of stuff. We've got our potentiometers, our power cable, and our sockets. And here's a, uh, a list of everything that's included. And we're gonna go ahead and get started here. We're starting off with the resistors, so we're gonna go ahead and populate the board with all our resistors. And you can see we've got the legs bent back here so they don't fall out when we're soldering them in place. And then we're just gonna go ahead and go through here and solder each leg. And then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and clip the legs and go ahead and repeat that step for all of them. And here we go. So next we're gonna be moving on to our diodes and then our capacitors. And then there's also a voltage regulator. I'm just gonna go ahead and populate all that stuff. There we go. And the same thing as before. We're gonna go ahead and bend the legs back so they stay nicely put. And we're gonna go ahead and solder everything in place. Okay, now that we've got that done, we're gonna go ahead and clip all the legs once again. All right, next we're gonna move on to our sockets. Here we have a 14 pin socket. And we're just gonna start with the, by soldering the one corner in place. That way we can flip it upside down and it stays in place. There we go, we got that. And we did the power connector as well, 16 pin power connector. And then we're gonna do the same thing here with the potentiometers. We're just gonna solder in one leg, holding it, and then go back in and get the rest. And then we're going to use that same trick to get the uh, to get the jacks in place here. Okay, so we've got all our sockets in place, got all our jacks aligned, and we're going to go ahead and apply the solder. And that's about it for the soldering. Uh, the last step is to put the integrated circuit into the socket here. So you're going to bend in the legs and then push it firmly into the socket. And we've got that done. So we're just gonna go ahead and go through and do our final assembly here. So we're gonna take the nuts off of the potentiometers and the jacks. Then we're gonna put on our front panel and uh, screw everything down with our fingers at first. We're just going to kind of snug everything up finger tight here and then I'll go back through with the needle nose pliers and snug everything down very carefully not to scratch this nice looking front panel. And then the last step here is to put on our knobs onto the potentiometers. And here we go. Here's our final assembled module. 
So now we're just going to plug in the power cable and put it into our modular system. Okay, we're just going to do a quick demonstration here. So I've got an audio arpeggiator pattern from the base station 2 going into the control voltage to input on the Atari Punk console. I just faded down the volume of the base station and I'm fading in the volume of the APC right now. And as you can hear, the APC tracks the pitch of the incoming audio signal that's going into the CV2. Sweep through the knobs here. Now I'm going to bring the audio level of the base station 2 back in again so you can hear what they sound like together. There we go. That's with the base station 2 as well. Now I faded the volume of the base station 2 back out. Now it's just the APC again. Thanks for watching this episode of Midiverse TV. Feel free to check out our website at midiversetv.blogspot.com and add us on Twitter at midiverse underscore TV. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thanks.